Good morning. My name is Keith and I'm the pastor of the Presbyterian Church in Winona, New Jersey. And last Wednesday or a few days ago on Wednesday, I did a Bible study where I talked about the beloved community that Martin Luther King envisioned for not just a church or a nation, but an entire globe of humanity. Martin Luther King was not a political leader as much as he was a spiritual leader. Everything that he believed in came out of prayer and devotion to God. Today I'm going to read a passage that I believe brings us closer to that beloved community, a community where every person is loved and cared for. It comes from Ephesians chapter 4 verses 2 through 4 and it says be always humble gentle and patient show your love by being tolerant with one another do your best to preserve the unity which the Spirit gives by means of peace that binds you together there is one body one spirit just as you just as there is one hope to which God has called you. Humility is what it started out with. Being willing to look at what we believe or have done or have said and then be willing to see that's not always the right way to go. So I did some soul searching and believe that the last Bible study I did just by the very title alone was creating division and not unity. The idea that I set up was what I would call a dichotomy. You have to choose one or the other is what happens uh, and it was the Bible being a prop or the Bible being a book of faith. And if you've been watching news, you know exactly the dichotomy I'm talking about. Humility says that I know that wasn't the best way to go and I know that there are better ways to communicate my message of love and unity. And I encourage you all to open your hearts to figure out ways that you can have humility in your life and make a change. There have been a lot of Christians recently making significant change in how they understand the issue of race. Joel Olstein. Um, is one of the folks in the white community that have really opened his eyes to how much injustice and how much uh, violence against blacks exists within our country. And he's even been on marches and protests in the last few days to show that he is willing to champion the idea that all are created equal and yet in our country all do not live under equality. I ask that you think with humility of how we all might learn how to make sure that George Floyd's life is not lost in vain. Uh, also, Hillsong. Hillsong is an incredible Christian music group that uh, recently said that they agree with Black Lives Matter. They were willing to take uh, this idea that was kind of not important to them and lift it up into importance. To what extent can all of us, especially those in the white community, open our eyes to see how we are met through humility to listen and love and understand uh, the incredible issue of race that has divided our country for far too long? Let us pray. Gracious God, I give thanks for humility that you time and again remind me to slow down and listen to others and be willing to be challenged. And I pray that each one of us is willing to be challenged today in a way that brings us closer to the beloved community, a community where all people are respected, all people are valued, and all people are safe. Make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Have a blessed day.